And from the very start of our pandemic, our Dr. McGeorge, Frank McGeorge, has been answering your questions about the coronavirus. And we've certainly all learned a lot from him over the past year. Yeah, absolutely. And since the vaccine started to roll out, thousands of viewers have sent in questions about the shots specifically. Dr. McGeorge is here tonight to answer a question concerning a recent update from the CDC. Understandably, people want as much certainty as quickly as possible, but the nature of a new virus and new vaccines means recommendations can evolve only as fast as new information is available. The CDC recently updated its quarantine recommendations for vaccinated people, and that has led to an interesting question. Susan wants to know, if someone is vaccinated and you don't have to quarantine for an exposure, why does the CDC say after three months you have to watch for symptoms and quarantine? So why are we doing all this vaccine stuff for three months protection? That's crazy. The first people vaccinated are almost no longer protected. For review, this is the current guidance from the CDC. Vaccinated persons with an exposure to someone with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 are not required to quarantine if they meet all of the following criteria. They are fully vaccinated, they are within three months of receiving the last dose of the vaccine, and they have remained asymptomatic since the current COVID exposure. On the surface, the three-month limit may sound crazy, but remember, the goal is to protect as many people as possible based on the imperfect information we have right now. As we learn more, guidelines are revised. That three-month time frame comes from an estimate of how long protection lasts after a natural infection. We don't know exactly how long the protection from the vaccine will last. It may turn out to be much longer than three months, but only time will tell. For now, the guidance is three months. Now, the participants in the original studies used to get the emergency use authorizations are more than three months out from their vaccinations. So hopefully, follow-up data will be available soon on how long immunity lasts. Bigger picture, one thing we do know now is that the vaccine prevents people from dying or becoming severely ill with COVID-19, and that definitely makes it worthwhile. Now, tomorrow at 6.30 a.m., I will be back to answer viewers' top 20 questions about the vaccine. Chances are... There are some things that you've been wondering in there too. Join me tomorrow morning on Local 4 News Today.